Welcome, 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 welcome. Let's do our love. Our love. Let's do my sagis. My little hot tamales. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see. Did the darkness go away? Okay. So, my Saggies, where I love rest of December, and I almost said November, so I don't know if you've been dealing with the same thing once again, so let's just see, because I don't remember. <laughs> Hold up, buttercups. Okay. My Saggies, my Saggies, where I love. Okay. You got the Knight of Air and you got the Hermit at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Water coming at each other. Um, you're definitely going through a spiritual enlightenment right now. They're trying to, for sure. Okay, They're trying to teach you. They're trying to get you to see something, which is more or less all about you right now and nobody else. Well, obviously, we're going to have to do the rest of the read, but... <sighs> With the with the night of water being under it, you know this is has something to do with an emotional aspect of your life. And some of you, once you get this retrospect, whatever it is you're looking for or searching for, I don't know if some of you are engaged and you're like, I don't know if it's if this is the right thing. If you're contemplating whether or not you should be engaged, contemplating whether or not you should be falling in love. Um, a lot of you are going to certain events too, probably work events. It's kind of like you want somebody to tag along, but at the same time, you're super ap apprehensive. Some of you are actually, <laughs> you know, it just came to me and some of you are doing it. Some of you are um, escorts, but not like sleeping with them, like just like a going to events type thing. Um, I don't know if you fell in love with somebody from there. You got feelings for somebody, I'll tell you that. But you're going to have to, with this night of fire, this night of air is telling me that certain events are going to come in a lot quicker than you think. And you're going to have to review what it is you're thinking about. You're some type of creative solution, okay, with no bullshit. And there's no in between because you must know what this is, some of you. I mean, you have to because I'm channeling it. I'm not reading it. I'm, I'm freaking channeling it. So you know what this is. It just hasn't come into fruition. I mean, some of you, it's there, but it's not solid, if that makes sense. Again, you got two knights coming at you. Again, it's like one of those scenarios where there's no way around it, but to go in and... and and say yay or nay, you know? Um, so let's see what we get. Sagis, my little hot tamales, my little hot tamales, but I'm not feeling you feeling very sensual like that. Um, I feel you going, but I don't feel you, um, not your norm, okay, but that's okay. So, it's the you're battle, you're not really battling the dark and the light, but it's like just it's like justice it's like balancing out the scales okay um turning a blind eye type thing to something that you know exists and for those who are like oh i feel crazy or is this my imagination it's not but make sure you're taking care of you at the same time do you understand because i don't want you getting lost 
See what's happening here? Holy shit. Like, I'm channeling. Okay. Some of you are getting lost thinking you're having all these thoughts with somebody in particular. Okay. Is it real? Is it not real? Um, here's the thing. It's real. But sometimes people do it unconsciously. Like you feeling somebody, oh, he must, he must be thinking about me. She must be thinking about, about, about me. Not necessarily. It could be unconscious, unconsciously happening, but you're not crazy. Okay. But some of you want to turn a blind eye and that would be foolish because the light is like, what are you doing? If you were to open up your heart chakra, you'd be good you'd be solid. Okay. Um, you would see things way more clearer. So, I, I mean, there's a shit ton of confusion here, even though it's straight to the bullshit. It, it, there's still confusion here. It, I mean, it's clear as day because whatever this is, is not solid. I feel like I'm yelling. Sorry. And we got the father of Pence. But this person's solid. Okay, so the situation itself is just not solid. But what it's saying is it can be a solid situation. But somebody's turning a kind of turning a, a blind eye, and the divine's not having it coming in as the hermit. Okay, so they're just they're not having it. Um, I feel like my music got really loud too. I mean, I got loud too. I don't know if the divine. It's almost like the divine screaming at you. I don't know if you're ignoring it on purpose or you're not hearing it maybe you're not hearing it some of you honestly are just not hearing it some of you don't even want to go in you don't want to stir up something that has no business being stirred up if it's not brought to your attention which i get it But I feel like they're asking you to. I mean, it's looking right down. I mean, they're definitely asking you to soul search. Which is kind of contradicting what I normally talk about. Because I'm kind of, you know, you know me. Where I'm like, well, if you're not being presented with it, then go about your daily business. But they're asking you to. So it does apply to some of you. But I think you'd be feeling it having the night of water here too. I think you would honestly, because it went this way, you know, it was the night of air with the hermit still facing off. So again, we got another face off type situation. I just had that with my Aquarius, I believe it was. And there was another one yesterday, I think, or it was in one of the daily reads, but so you're going to have no choice, but this hermit straight up looking down. So with the night of water being under there, you have to be feeling something. You So if you're starting to feel it, then explore it. If You know, that's the best way I can explain it to you. If you're starting to feel it, explore it. And you're not confused. There's no confusion here. I just think a lot of you are choosing not to. But, again, like I said, if you're feeling it, ex explore it. Okay. Again, it, it's that's like a judgment call on making a choice and they're looking right at you. And, again, it, it's, like that, it's like that choice is strong. So, like I said, some of you are, some of you are feeling it. There's no way you're not. It's like a judgment call is what this is. Some of you literally need to go, go within. And I know some of you don't want to. And again, I'm back to the whole like court. You don't teach us to do that. Like, but for those who are feeling it, do it. For those who are not feeling it, don't worry about it. Everybody's got Sag in their chart somewhere. Not every message is going to pertain to everyone. Okay. Like you wouldn't, you would be feeling this. You would already have feelings for some someone in particular. And it, it can be solid because the hermit's legitimately looking down at this at this two. 
you know, looking right down at you. Like, what are you doing? You know, like, it's time to go within. So uh, for some of you that might be a little scary because now they're asking you to do it and I would be a little apprehensive to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. But that's what they're asking you to do is to let things resurface. You know, um, it, it can be a solid situation. This is a tough one, my Saggies, because it, it, they're asking you to let those feelings resurface. Four of Cups came out. Uh, the way they came out, I'm going to read these with the Ace of Cups. So, you're fond of somebody and, and, and vice versa, okay? But I don't feel like anybody feels like they missed an opportunity here. I, I'm more or less, um, I want to look up something. Okay. I wasn't sure what that word was, but it's, it's lack of, you know, occupation or excitement. All right. So yeah, it, it, you're kind of having, you know, it's like boredom, which is what the four of cups means sometimes. But like, I feel like it was telling me something else. I, I don't know, but it's interfering with your daily living. So I told you some of you are clearly aware of this. But there's, there's love there. It might not be a shit ton of love, but there's definitely a fond feeling. Um, there's no there's no question it's there, okay? Um, and some of you, they're literally asking you to, to go within. And I know it's like, oh, Court, you say that all the time. Like, oh, go within. Now, this is different. They literally want you to go within, think about this person, start dreaming about this person. Um, start, you know, and if you guys are, it's more of like a five of wands energy, but they don't want you to look at it like that. They want you to choose. They want you to make a choice before this person even comes in is what's happening. They want you to say, yes, I'm going to work with this or no, I don't want this like literally. And then when this person comes in, then it's time to, to discuss it, but you got to take power over this situation. It's the Ace of Swords. Like, see, I told you, it, it's a choice. It's, it's the truth. It's, it's your, your mind. You, you gotta, you have to make that decision. I think before the divine even steps in, I mean, the divine's here, but like what they're literally asking you to do is start thinking about this person again and make your choice before they even step in so they can have it come to you. And some of you are going to be like, I've already done that. Not the way they want you to. There's got to be something more because it's not the way. Because I can hear you being like, I've already done that. I want him. I want her. Like, it's more than that. You're not looking at it like it can be solid. Yeah, you're saying, okay, I, I will go through this. I, I will work on this. Yes, I, I want her is what you're saying, okay? But you're not seeing that this can be solid. You're not seeing that this has way more potential than it actually does. See what I'm saying? They want you to, to look at this and tell yourself, this can be solid. I know it can be solid. I want to do this. I don't want to do this. But for more, more or less, for a majority of you, it's, I do want to do this. I know there's potential, and I know you know that, but, like, it's kind of like, okay, Archangel Raziel, I am ready. I am ready for this. I know it can be solid. It has potential. I choose to do this. And when you're thinking about this person, picture a solid union. Picture it working out. Picture you guys working on a business, working on the household, working on a family, whatever it is it may be. Picture it. Start putting the illusion, fantasy, whatever you want to call it, start making it into a reality. It's kind of like the law of attraction. 
but also letting them know you want it at the same time. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.